Hi guys, Bruno from Totocross here. Welcome to our channel. And today uh, we're going to show you how you can create and share uh, Java external libraries with your Totocross projects. Uh, one of the coolest things about using Java language is the great number of design patterns that you can use in your projects and also the idea to, to build different libraries to reuse your code in different projects. So let's take a look and how you can do this with Totocross today. In this sample, we're gonna use this new library that we are building, the no code XML. It's a library to run Android XML in any device with no Android SDK. So basically here we have the, the classes, the Java classes to run the XML. Uh, and one big difference between a regular Totocross project and a library is that the library doesn't have the main window. Okay, so this, this project only have the classes using Totocross API, extending components, creating new components, but no main window in this project. So to build this application, this project as a library, we need to make some changes in the pond.xml. Uh, I'm using here uh, a compiled uh, SDK in my machine, but you can use the latest version of Totocross. So the first change that we need to do here in the pond.xml is that we are not going to, to use the platform tag because we are just building a library. So the library will run exactly the same for all uh, uh, platforms, okay? So let's remove this. Another thing that we need to change is the name of the project. We need to place here the, the lib in the final, okay? So the name of the lib will be no code lib dot tcz this is important to make totocross understand this is a library there is using in a different project okay so let's build this library to see how it will uh, show us here in the in the target folder i'm using the vs code plugin here but you can use uh, any other ide okay you can just run the deploy uh, class front of the cross to create the library too. So here in the target folder, we can see the jar file that was created and the library. The jar file will be used in, in development time. So you need to, to use this in your project as an API and the TCZ file will be used in the runtime. Uh, as we don't use anything from Java on the runtime, we don't use the, the, the jar file as well. So we're gonna use the TCZ file. So let's copy the path of this library. Let's go to another project that I'm creating. It's a home appliance that is using an Android XML to load all the UI. This new project only has two uh, classes. This one is the launcher to run the simulator on my computer. And this one is the main window that loads the UI. The job is compiling, but as you can see in a few minutes, an error will, will show here in this class because these two classes that I'm using is a part of my library that I make, that I just compiled it right now, okay? So the error is now showing to me. I didn't uh, uh, add the library already, so I cannot compile my project right now. So let's add the library right now. As I'm using Maven, I can add the library directly as a dependency in my project. So let's just copy the path to my jar file and you can we can add a dependency here let's copy the jar file to this path 
also we need to to put the group id if your library is already in maven uh, you don't need to set the scope and the system path but as the library is in my machine uh, i need to set uh, these two parameters so maven can find my library so let's build again the project and see if the the compilation is okay right now so now when i add this i'm using this library also in the development time so I, we don't have any errors right now in the project let's try to run the simulator to see how it will look like uh, on the device this project is really simple only two classes and the resources with the assets and also with the android xml here so as you can see with the usage of uh, external library it's easier to build and reuse source code so my project now has only two classes it's loading everything so here is my project this is we run on several different devices and now let's run this application on my Raspberry Pi. Let's package. Uh, this is a warning that the deploy command is showing to us just to let us know that we are using an external jar. Okay, this is really useful to let you know if you have any any issues with the jar file or with the tcz file so all the 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 dot class it's converting to a tcz file and as we can see here in the linux arm folder we have all the files to run on the device so let's try to run directly on my Raspberry Pi. So it's trying to run on my Raspberry Pi and we have one error here in the home appliance XML, you need to UI. Let's take a look at this class. Home appliance XML in the line 31. Here. Probably uh, Total Cross here in this folder, as you can see, the library, the no code lib.tcz is not here in this file. We didn't add it. Just to show you that we need to add the library here and it's returning to us an error because they are they are not found finding these uh, two classes so let's add the the no code library in our project first we need to to create a new file call it all.pkg And in this file, we're gonna add an L and the path of my library. Let's get the same path here of my jar file. But as we are not using the jar file on the device, we need to add no code lib.tcz. Let's save and let's package everything again. With this file all.pkg, uh, we can add uh, files to be added in the compile time to go to the device. So everything that we place here uh, will be copied to the target folder for every specific uh, platform, okay? Let's take a look now in the install folder. 
as you can see, uh, the no-code lib.tcz is here right now in the, in the folder Linux ARM, and let's run this directly on the device. This is my Raspberry Pi. And let's take a look at the, at the folder of the application. Home Appliance XML. Here we have the no code lib.tcz with eight kilobytes and everything that I need to run this application. Okay, this way guys, it's really easy to create uh, libraries to use in different projects and you have a lot of benefits uh, from the Java language, okay? And don't forget to follow us in the social networks. And also, if you want to discuss more about OpenCross, you can join our Telegram community, okay? See you guys, bye-bye.